She's feeding! Hello, yeah. one for everybody. Oh my Whoa. gosh. There she goes. Right on your hand. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the dining room proudly presents Gatorland, Orlando. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Dave K here today, back at Gatorland, Orlando, and we're featuring your favorite guest star from season two of Dave K. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you, Michelle! Gatorland, 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 Gatorland. Michelle, you, okay, bye. Michelle, you wanted to do the Gatorland today, right? You've been talking about it, yes. you're excited for it. Yes. What makes you so excited for it? What are you most looking forward to? I'm here? looking forward to Gators, Gators, and more Gators. Um, I'm, I don't think there'll be crocodiles, but if there were, I'd be excited for those too. Okay, well, enjoy those Gators. I might also in, encourage, recommend, enjoy birds, bird feeding, with some shows. Thanks. Lots to see. Nice long day here like at Gatorland. Snakes. She likes snakes. Like Let's check it out. Michelle, welcome to Gatorland. Did you notice the very first sighting of gators? No. Right behind you. <laughs> They're so cute. And there's a whole lot of them. Right when you walk in. Looking forward to doing it all here today. Let's get to it. We got some big boys over there. So you think these are big gators? Look how cute he is. I mean, yes, that one in the water. It's true. You saw the juniors on the walk over. So these are bigger, but there's there's a bigger gator. Whatever you saw that in the wild, uh, you might be. Isn't he cute? Yes, C cute is definitely the word I would choose to describe this gator. Oh, I want to pet him. Oh, I like how he stopped just for us. Yeah, he wanted to say hi, or he wanted to eat your toes, one or the other. Please eat my toes. See the fish over there in the water with him? Mm -hmm. Right there. Mm -hmm. They're tough to see. I almost didn't. I saw them before you mentioned. True. There's, oh, there's some down there too. I'm surprised he doesn't eat them. Maybe he's not that hungry. Maybe he gets better food. He gets better food, I'm sure. True. True. I don't think I've ever seen a gator this close. Uh, well, there you Look go. Look at his body. I'm excited for you to see uh, Chester. Who's Chester? Just watch this gator right here beaching himself. You can see him still walking over there. Shell spotted that. What do you think, Shell? You like to see the beaching? He's so cute. I love him. Yeah. It is cool, you know, see the, see the beaching in action. I but want to see a bigger one. Nice slow movement for now. Oh, you, you want to see a bigger, yeah. bigger croc? Yeah. Okay, bigger gator. We'll, we'll make up. Watch over this way. We'll show you one. These are big gators. Look at that one. Oh, he. Oh, he's holding on meat. See him I up know. there? They might be doing it now. They just finished. Oh, okay, okay. He's holding meat in his hand. So let's see if he does anything with that. Oh, 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 oh here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. He's waving the chicken. He's got his whole arm in there. They made them drop. Yeah. Wow. What is he doing? Oh, oh, shoot. Wow. I've never oh, seen shoot. something that big. Massive. Oh, wow. Here it comes. I can get it. I think it's Crocs versus Gators. Do you have Crocs? I don't know. Alright. Now they're going to take it and digest. Look at that tail going on. Wow. It is really cool to sit back and, and look at them. This is your favorite shell? Hello, yes. I'm he gonna does, name him Gregory. He does look beefy. Yeah. They probably have a name for him. They actually have named most of them. You his can probably name ask is Gregory. Him. Okay, his name is Gregory now. <laughs> Forget what it was before. Amazing. Hello, Gregory. He's like eight times my size. Now you've seen a few gators so far, Shell, but we've got a few other animals to see out here too. Oops, just ran into a wall. And yeah, I think you might like what's up ahead. I think Michelle's mostly here for the gators, but are you excited? See on your left. On my left? Yes, are you excited? What's on my left? Hold on. The restrooms? The restrooms are on your left, that's accurate. Yeah. And you'll also see photos. Photos. Right past the photos. You haven't seen too thoroughly, right? You have a vague idea. What's up? Well, oh, I, I watch all your videos. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so here you've got, check this out. Oh, birds. The McCalls. Oh, they're so pretty. Yeah, yeah. And keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You can come back to the call. This is, we're just going to do the quick, quick walking tour. Is this snakey? Yeah, she wanted the snakes. There's another McCall. That's what that's Here's your snakes. Can you touch them? Uh, no. Yeah, I don't think you want to pet that. I definitely do. I, I, it is a 
Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Oh, that's so, poisonous for sure. Yeah, I probably wouldn't want to touch it. So nasty. Venomous. Why does it always have to be snakes? <laughs> Michelle, oh are you ready for this? I'm the ready for what? big reveal. Come what? over. Take it? a look. What am I right over at? here, you can see as we look oh, right it. over this way. Just kidding, back this way. What is it? What is it? The biggest dwarf rock in the world. Wait, what the heck? Mr. O. That is not Chester. He's so cute. What the heck? He's the biggest dwarf croc in the world. Oh, they changed it. The biggest dwarf croc in the world. Wow, where'd you see that sign? He's like my Oh, in the socks. back. Yeah. Mr. O. Oh, Chester's gone. Oh, wait, look at him move. Wow, so that's cool. Interesting. I was expecting you to see Chester, who went like all the way across this, this pool. This looks but, too small for a Yeah, this, this is not Chester. I don't know where he went. He looks so small. The biggest dwarf croc in the world, though. That's cool. That is really cool. Really interesting information there, too, about Mr. O being a survivor, apparently, when fire devastated Gatorland in 2008 or 2006. He managed to stay submerged and survive there when his roof his exhibit came down. Oh, wow. that's awesome. Cool to see him here. Mr. O is new for us. But where's Chester, though? Now passing these crocodiles, heading back towards the flamingos. Michelle? Is it crocodiles? How flamingos your journey back here? What? Is it flamingoing well? <laughs> <laughs> you can see we got pink ones, we got white ones. Oh, and Capybara sign is right here. So I'm not sure if he's out here himself, but you can see the sign for him. Michelle, what color flamingo is your favorite? I like the purple ones. The purple ones? Oh yes, those are my favorite as well. <laughs> yes, many, many purple ones in front of me. Flamingo away. You can see all the purple ones. Right here, flamingo think, away, she says. Okay. I think the white ones are like juveniles. Okay, bye. I'm flamingoing away. Okay. Maybe they're juveniles, or maybe they haven't had enough shrimp yet. Because my understanding is the beta they're carotene. Juveniles. Pink, maybe you're right. Maybe they're eating something else. I mean, some of them are big. I do see the small ones, and you're like, maybe you're right about those. Wait. No, those the small, <laughs> the small ones are different oh, birds. See over there, they look smaller. Like their bodies are smaller. Uh, maybe you're right. What about? No, you're right. Because I was gonna say, what about those guys? They're comparable to like some of these guys. But you're right. In general, it does seem like. A lot smaller. Yeah. In general, the pink ones are a lot bigger. Oops. Oh, no. A brawl for fight, snacks. Fight. 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 Snack brawl. Everyone thinks flamingos are so beautiful, but when you look at their faces, they're super ugly. Right, it's almost like their beaks are like made upside down, you know? It's mm -hmm. like, shouldn't the big part be on top? They're so weird. They're kind of weird, but you always look they're nice pretty. from a distance. <laughs> they're weird. They're, they look cute from a distance. I'm a toucan kind of girl. Okay, you're about them toucans? Well, you can go back and see the macaws whenever. We were talking about that dino over there. I mean, the croc over there. It looks like a dino. It's kind of beached up like that. All kinds of faces in it. Oh, look at this right here, Michelle. Look, he's oh, he's riding on the back. There's another one over there with the bird Cute. sitting on the gator's back. Yeah, and then we saw a little black head sitting out of the water somewhere. Look, there's another one. He's riding it, but his like legs are fully submerged. So you don't think he's riding anything? Maybe he isn't, actually. Maybe he's just walking real slow. I guess he's just walking real slow. He's walking onto this guy's back. Look at that. He's like, yep, I'm up now. Wow. He's chilling on that guy's back. No fear. That's right. Look, he's going to slowly inch his way up that guy's back. Just gonna slowly move in this direction. Just don't mind me. I'm just moving up your tail to your back. You see that, Shell? I see him. Look at that guy. Oh, look, gator climbing gator with the bird on his back. <laughs> he's trying to climb over his buddy. I guess he's just sticking his, his jaw on his buddy. So let me just put this on your back. Where'd that little black oh, head go? Remember we saw a little guy sticking his head out of the water? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Yeah. Is that vultures back there? Oh my God. Yeah, bird's gonna fly right above you. He's on the thing above us now. You can like almost touch the guy. Reach out and give him a little hug. <laughs> no, I feel like he's hiking. Yeah, seriously, it's almost scary with birds too, right? Right in front of us, we've got the bird on the gator. You can hardly see the gator at this angle, but cool to see. Shell, what do you think? I think he's cute. Yeah, which one, the bird or the gator? The gator. Or combo. I'm gonna name him Frederick. Like, look at how small his feet are on the back. It's like. A very thin name him Frederick. Okay, this is Frederick. And you've got George standing on Frederick's back. You could say George standing on Fred's back. You know? They're they're weaseling their way through the uh no. <laughs> They don't like twins at all. They don't look like twins to you? No. I can see it. I mean they're they're twinning. No. They're twinning. Twinsies, you might call them. No. Alright. Hello. We got some donkeys here. 
no. petting zoo. You're soft. How's that petting, Shell? It was a good pet. Good. I feel like, uh, yeah, you gotta be, uh, you gotta be petting the donkeys when you're here. I feel like you have to be He's jittery. Be respectful jittery? though. Don't don't be a donkey when you're petting the donkey. You know, even if you know what I'm saying. You want to take a photo with this guy? Hi. Maybe he's a little shaky. I don't know. Got a goat. Yeah. Hello. Sup, goat? Oh, a little horn. He's got a little horn sticking out. Wow, that's that's cute. I like it. Cuties. Oh, look at this guy. Wow, right here. We got a nice little uh, humpy laying them all. What's going on with this? Is this muscle? Let's just see if it assists. <laughs> it's quite strange. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, they're so, they're so pettable today. They're walking right over to us. It's like they're in line to be pet. I love it. Who's your favorite so far? I like the goat. Actually, the, the goat? I thought the donkey was pretty epic. I want to, I want to take some photos with, with all of them, honestly. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I, like I swear, they're worth this assembly line to get pet. It's like, next one. <laughs> they're letting us know when they're ready, too. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I would go for that. Okay, we got our cones. Michelle's walking off. You can see the goats following us around because we got cones, guys. They told us to start in the back. So we're heading to the back. Here, come on down. Come on down, guys. Come on down, little goatee. There she goes. She's got the feeding going on already. She's feeding. She's feeding. Are they loving it? There you go. Get some snacks. Get those little snackies. Hello, yeah. one for everybody. Oh my oh, gosh. Hello. Nice. One for everybody. Who wants it? It's like every goat in the hello. house here. Some, some I like it. Food for you. Get the cow feeding. They're ready. Ready. Michelle's doing her cone. You're a good cow. He's a good cow. He He's likes his little cow. back thing going on. Look at his You're face. A wow. You're a good Cute. Cow. There's an ostrich. Oh my gosh. All the way in the back, there's an ostrich. I can't believe their feet. Oh, he was ready for that. He was ready. He's like, give me some. Hello. Give me good some, job. Michelle. Yeah. My name is Bruce. Hello, Bruce. And I want your snacks. Hello, Bruce. Brucey the snack man. Bruce. So they go on me. He doesn't like Hey, pets. Bruce is back. Hello. Bruce's not hey. done. Bruce is only it's, gonna be done when you're not looking. Pets? Then he's gonna try to grab your cone. You have to trade pets for food. I am Greg. No. This is Good Greg. I, I would Greg. also like some snacks. Oh look at I'm his I'm trying horn. to get can you can you can we thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Jeff. Jeff. Hello. Hello, my name is Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Yes, Greg, yes, Greg Rothman. I like the brown one. Okay, which way are we going? Going back? Uh, Oops, <laughs> he was going right for it. He's like, I can reach. Hey, I'm Greg and I'm gonna grab it when you're not looking. What's up, dudes? Y'all having a good day so far? Has it been good? No. <laughs> Activities Take have been off. nice. <laughs> Take off. Okay. No. There she goes, no. sitting right in there. No. Hey, watch out, I'm gonna no. get your cone. I don't know, she didn't say anything about the ostrich, so why not, right? I feel yeah. like Just be I'm careful scared. with the ostrich. Yeah, I don't know if I would actually. Yeah. His name is Rich, though. I don't like him. All right. Hi. Got some. Got some Jeff again. Hello, Jeff. There's Bruce. No. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> All right. Get that. Get them snackies. Yeah. Get them snackies, yo. Look at this guy right here. There you go. Look at this guy. Hello, I'm Cal. Oh my God. <laughs> take just take a bite. Oh jeez, I didn't even catch it. You gotta watch out for that. Little we'll snip you. He just grabbed it. Oh, I like to slime. Watch out. You're a good boy. He's you like, hey, I'm gonna grab your cone. I like ice cream. I like ice cream and pellets. <laughs> I can't even come up with enough names fast enough for all of them. That one? Yeah. Isn't he we'll pretty? We'll call him, yes. We'll call him Francois. Very Hello, I'm Francois. Would you please give me <laughs> some pellets with my fancy beard that matches my eyebrows? Do you have yes. a fancy beard? I am Francois. Look at my horns, majestic. I like this guy a lot. Yes, my name is Billy. Billy the goat. I'm going with Billy the goat. Hello, sheep. Oh, look at that. You got sheep going on. Sheep. I wasn't even expecting. It's like new animals popping out when I wasn't even looking for them. Look at that. I want more sheep. Okay. Do you want more sheep? Hey. Sheep's back there. Everybody's ready. All ready. You want some? There you go. He's got some. He's, he's like, he's the guy. He's like, I gotta get this. Okay, you gotta get some too. You want some too? Oh god, that's there a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're all attacking. They're all going at once. Here, Here's the camera. Ah! <laughs> it's, uh, these guys are intense. They're really, they're really going for it. It's like, how many heads can you get in there at once? Hey, no butting him. No butting each other. See? 
Nobody. Nobody. There you go. There you go. Get some. Get some. Get some. Get some. Here, I got some more. I feel like I'm like a pen for the, uh, the goats right here. <laughs> nice horizontal photo, ready for it? <laughs> yeah, they're going for it. The saw he can eat the fastest. They, they got tired of the food. What's up, guys? I still got more food. Go, 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 go. Now it's cone time. Now it's cone time. Ready? Go. Should I break it off? Or are you going to break it off? You just going to take a nice little nibble? You going to take a nibble? You want a nibble? You want some? Who wants a cone? Oh, cow. Cow's got to get some. Cow's got there you go. Oh, you're gonna take the whole thing. You're gonna take it all. Let me break off something for you, cow. It's too dangerous. There you go. Get it. Take a nice juicy bite. You want some of that? There you go. Who wants the last bit? Last bit. Who should get it, Shell? This guy right here? There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, yes. Okay. That was quick. Flew by. But taste. But taste. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. I feel like it was worth doing. And you get a discount with the annual pass. BOGO. So, probably get some more cones. Two cones for two bucks? I mean, Seems good to me. Essential part of wild animal feeding. Gotta watch him. Pretty hairy in there. I don't know if you can hear me at all. Gotta watch him though. Oh gosh, spraying everywhere. All right. All right. Get some more. I feel like the animal feeding was definitely worthwhile. You know, uh, I feel like I probably could have picked out some more of the unique animals too. The goats were all about it. But I got a little bit of cow action. Probably could have gotten some more cow action. And I don't think I fed any sheep. Uh, the donkey was really cool to see too, but it seemed like he was on a, a more strict kind of diet slash, you know, we couldn't really feed him. But it was awesome to see. So glad we had a chance to feed a bunch of them. I felt like that was worthwhile. I feel like being up close to the animals. And I would definitely do it again, especially, you know, again, get that pass holder discount. But nice, glad we had a chance to uh, enjoy some of it. Michelle, what do you think? What were your favorites? I like the cow. I liked Billy the goat. I liked Gregory the goat and Gregory the gator. And I liked, uh, I liked all the goats. There's a little like beige light brown one that I really liked, thought he was beautiful. Also the black and white ones are really cute. And yeah, goats. There you go, a nice set of goats, yes. I think you mean maybe Francois. Francois. Francois was, was a nice goat. goat. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he was good. Where is the big, the, the big one? Oh, is this the big the one? The big gator? Yeah. I don't know. I think this is the spiders. Yeah, they're doing the up close encounters, and they're gonna do some, some spider meat. So we'll, we'll skip some, skip some spider meat. You can see the spider on the side, right? Not what I was expecting. Yeah. So it wasn't spiders right now, which is nice. But I agree. I don't think I would do it unless you could guarantee it wasn't spiders either. Yeah, if you could guarantee no tarantulas, right. it'd be fine. I'm fine with tarantulas. I just don't really, like I like looking at tarantulas and maybe I yeah. I, I agree. And look at this, Shell. A Rinoco crocodile. That is tiny. Oh yeah, you can have that at home. The pet croc, is that what you're telling me? Wow. Uh, okay. I don't think I would want one, but oh, there's another one. Wow. Got it. So it's a baby one. Interesting. Yeah, that can get full size for sure. You got your signage right here leading you into this new looking holiday exhibit. Look at this. Gingerbread people. So it's gingerbread men and probably some gingerbread women. Look down there, further down this way. Got a lot of gingies all around and even the gingerland vlogs headquarters is that what it says i think so 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 lots of gingy stuff in case you're you're about your gingy life which yeah i like it albino gator so you can see one right over here shell from right here it looks like we can see both a standard gator and all the way in the back look at that a standard gator on an albino gator what do you, what do you, <laughs> Where did you see that? <laughs> now you know what do you think? Albinos? That's so funny. I like the ones that are on top of each other. Yeah. Or they call them white alligators. I'm not sure why they don't call them albino. That is funny, right? It's like they're uh, snuggle butts. Snuggle butts. Professional cuddlers. Swamp walk. Taking a walk in. We're going to see what kind of gators we can find. We heard Michelle. I told Michelle big gators. She's like, hey, I want to see the big gators. Do you think they're as big as Gregory? I think that, uh, I think you might find some back here that are even bigger than Gregory. Gregory. Yeah. I think Chester's number one. And I think some of the guys you'll find back it's here. It's just a straight up swamp. It is a straight up swamp. That's right. But so they're like, they didn't do anything to ever make this little bridge. I don't know. I mean, I guess so. Wait, it kind of seems they that way. Can they climb up here? Uh, that's actually a good point. <laughs> they could probably climb up there. Yeah. Maybe we should turn around. Is it good on pancakes? Swamp maple? I don't know. So we got some wildlife out here. A little raccoon guy hanging out over there. It does seem like, though, Michelle has a good point. He could just waltz right up here. So, I'm not, not really sure why it's set up that way. 
Are we are we safe? Like fully safe up here? Probably not. Probably not. Now walking in to Birdland, the official home of little birds. So are you excited for? Yeah. All right, here she goes. And there they are. I love this. Like one of my favorite things here. There she goes. All right on your hand. She wasn't ready for that. Yeah, just remain very calm. She's on my foot. What? Yeah, pet her. Oh, he's so nice. Soft. Like that? They're soft. Yeah. Yeah, they'll get on your feet too. It's like they think the shoe is a, uh, it's a snack. You gotta get some more. Take that stick and hold it near the ground. There you go. Hold it near the ground, and other guys will jump on with you. There we go. So just stay in one place for a while though. Until they jump on you. Very still. Maybe Neil will be easier. Oh my god. There they go. Hi. Hello, my name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. How are you doing? How are you doing? My name is Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Give you the view. I'm going to name photos? my Edward. Uh, yeah. oh. I got two now. They're playing. No fighting. No fighting. Look at that. Grab it from the back. Look at that. You got two. Hey, no fighting. You're right. And on. Hold on. Hey, no fighting. No fighting. There you go. Nice. So, oh, yeah, that's a nice shot, I'm sure. Yeah. Get some snacky. Hey. Got them all? Let's see. Like in there? Hey. Yeah. So, shoulder shot. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. He's doing a thing on my thingy. Hi. Hi. There you go. Have some. Have some hands. Have some handy. The handy guy. Good guy. Is that your hat? Look at that. Shell, I heard you really enjoyed that. Yes. Okay. Was it your favorite part so far? Yes. Uh, I don't know. They're all fun. Okay. I liked Frederick, the um, Frederick and Gregory okay. the alligators. Okay. Okay. And I'm excited to see the Nile crocodiles with the parakeets were Okay. Oh, and the goats were the best. So, yeah. Goats were great. So favorite part so far, you're saying, is the either. Cow. The cow's still your favorite. I'm part. a simple woman. You like the, like the cow. The ground there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I Sounds really good. want to see a capybara. Yeah. But overall, great time at Gatorland? Yes. Yeah. You should it's, come. You would come back? Oh. Yes. How often? Like, if, if you had to choose. To come to Gatorland? Right. You got a lot of park options, you know, lots of places I come to go. Here at least a couple times a year. Okay. I think it's super fun. Sounds good. Yeah, so, I yeah. come here like maybe once every six months. Okay. Once every three months, maybe. Sounds good. I think it's fun. Yeah, it depends on your mood, right? If you like the nature. Seems like a good place to be. Yeah, I think it's a great place. I'm really excited for that swamp area. Oh you yeah. You go back and it's just like swamp walk. You want to feed some gators? You just feed some gators. Right. We'll get you some gator chow. And yes. we're about to do some Michelle photos with the uh, the wrestling a gator. We'll I'm see how those come out. Gator? Uh, you didn't know you're wrestling a gator. <laughs> she didn't know. I didn't know. Let's get do it. I wasn't ready. Here we go. <laughs> she asked for it. So we saw a few no. gator petting, okay, uh, gator photos. Now we're gonna see the show, right, and then we'll so do our photos. The there we go. Now welcome to Gatorland's Legends of the Swamp Alligator Show. Able to save her own life. So pay attention, Eli. He's gonna show you some uh, life saving stuff. Gator up here for you guys. This is how you walk your dog in Florida, right? <laughs> hey, neighbor, your cat's missing that's We are all in the yard. The hardest part about Wrangling was just finding them. If you guys take a look, it's a sensory organ and it's the most sensitive part of the alligator. Uh, in fact, it's even more sensitive than millennials nowadays. So just give it a couple snacks, it should be all right. What do you guys think is the most dangerous part of the alligator? A lot of mouth, teeth, and tail. So we're gonna go ahead, let's put it to a vote. If you guys think it's the mouth and the teeth, raise those hands. All right, all right. If you guys think it's the tail, raise those hands. All right, everybody with their hand up for tail. Take a good look at which end I'm holding on to. <laughs> it's the mouth, now don't get me wrong. With all that being said, I am now gonna try to show you guys the inside of this alligator's mouth. We've got 80 razor sharp teeth. That's 40 on top, 40 in the bottom. 
All right, Shell, it's time to get a picture of your yes. show. Thank you so much. I'm excited. All right, you like the show? Yes, I did like the show. It makes me kind of sad to be on the Gator, but how about this? Yeah. We got the ticket. Sounds good. We're looking forward to it. Hopefully you enjoy it. I'm sure the Gator doesn't mind. I hope he doesn't mind. You saw he had a lot more fun earlier, so. Yeah. All right, here she goes. How are you? Good. Did you enjoy the show? Nice, there nice. You go. Your hair is almost as cool as mine. Look that way. And smile. Who's got better curls, Case? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Good. Have a nice day, okay? Michelle, how was your gator photos? It was fun. I didn't put any weight on the gator because I was worried about him. Yeah. But he was cute, or she was cute. Her name is Strawberry. His name is Strawberry. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, I was just like kind of was over it, and it looked like I was wrangling a gator. Um, it was cute. It felt very, it felt like a, like a handbag. All right. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> very nice. Fancy handbag. I like it. So now we're going to get some gator food as opposed to... Uh, gator handbags, you know, it's, this is food for gators, not for us to eat gator food uh, But maybe we'll get some human food later, too Maybe get some water and then we got to do that swamp walk get some gator feeding going on back there I think that'd be cool now taking a look at the macaws. There's some beautiful parrots out here Shell cool. I think it's super cool. They don't fly away. Yeah, isn't that cool? They just they just chill here. Yeah, they must get fed well yeah. And you don't want to get too close to them But uh, Yeah, they'd be cool yeah, Chester was pretty pretty big, so I'm not sure. Maybe maybe you're right. Maybe that is Chester, but I'm pretty sure he was like almost twice that size. Twice? I think he was. He was pretty big. From here, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm off. Maybe he was like 1.5 times the size. But I think I think Chester was a good chunk bigger than this guy right here. He took up like that whole glass cage in there. So, but you like it? I like him. Is that big enough for you? No, I want you want to see twice the big. Twice the big. We'll come back for Chester. And we found out Chester is getting a bigger home, a new larger home. So it's good. He's growing still, nice and healthy. Okay. All right, get your chow. Get a bag right here. Yes, amazing. Which bag do I take? Which bag do you want? It's a tough choice. I think the best bag. We have to find the best one. That's right. I'm saying juicy. A juicy bag. Let's see what she picks. All right, juicy bag. Thank, Thank you. So much. you have a good day. Thank you. Heading back towards the white alligators so we can go to that swamp walk now with the gator chow. Oh yes. Ready to give them some snacks? Let's do it. We just had a little raccoon. There he is. Chilling. He was just on the thing on the deck before we made our way up here. So, whoa. Trails. Oh, trails. Look at that. He was all up and down here. So definitely we're going to see some animals on this trek. So we got the distancing one-way signs, which is cool. So now we go up this way and we'll come back that other path. Good to know. Just follow the trails and you'll be all right. Hopefully. We'll see. I'm not sure we've done this walkway before. Really cool to see. thought we were heading towards those bigger gators. You know, I thought this swamp walk was the same one where we had the chance to look at some of those larger gators. But still really cool to see the nature as we go. Michelle, thoughts? Swampy. Swampy. No, I like it. It's very pretty. Um, very, it's very picturesque if you look out over the trees. And I'm hoping to see, I don't know, maybe some snakes, some more raccoons, some wildlife. Okay, yeah. So another place to get some variety beyond just the gators. And then we'll go for the gatory part whenever. Interesting information here on the sign about cotton mouths, water moccasins. Only poisonous water snake in North America sounds like. It's this part of the swamp, so watch your step. Are you watching your step, Shell? Venomous, not poisonous. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know my loss and losses. How to work that out. Now making our way outward from the swamp trail. I know we didn't see any live snakes, Shell, but did you still enjoy it? I did enjoy it. All I right. wish I saw a snake, but it's okay. More opportunities for snakes later. Right, we're in Florida, so you're bound to find something. But let's check out that other breeding marsh next. So you can take a look at the menus up here. We've got the Chester dog. Oh, Gatorland's famous Chester dog. Foot long hot dog loaded with chili, nacho cheese, jalapenos, mac and cheese. We got a lot of options. Hamburgers, tenders, uh, and then there's gator as well. So I don't know. Maybe we'll just get water for now, TBD. All right, so we went ahead and got food in addition to our water. We got the Chester dog right there and you can upgrade to those loaded fries for three bucks. We got the gator bites and you can get the extra sauces for 50 cents. Boom, I'm excited to give them a shot let you know what we think. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the dining room, for real this time, proudly presents the Chester Dog. 
with what looks like mac and cheese, jalapenos. Man, that looks super good. It's a foot long hot dog. And then it comes with those fries. We got them loaded. You know, it was an extra couple bucks. And then you've got your uh, Gator Bites. Gator Bites, it's classic, staple. Got the extra sauce because we're going to want it. And we're going to dig in. See what we think. Shelly, you want to say what you think before we eat it? Dig in? I am excited to try Gator. I feel bad because now I've been talking about how cute they are. But I'm about to say how delicious they are too. So I'm excited and uh, sad. <laughs> best of both worlds. Never hurts. Oh, we just finished two cups of water alongside those Gator Bites <clears throat> and the Chester Dog with the loaded fries. A lot of spice going on right now. I didn't think the jalapenos were too spicy, but now I'm starting to feel them a little bit. I feel like they were both good, both good items. You know, the, the, the Chester Dog was, was quite long and thick. A lot of hot dog there, a lot of meat on that, uh, on that Gator Dog, that long and thick dog. But uh, it was juicy, you know, and uh, tasty, I gotta say, you know. I, I did like it, but I feel like it was a lot of hot dog comparatively to the other toppings. So I'd probably go like more other toppings like Mac, maybe maybe smaller dog, thinner dog. You know, it was a little thick for a dog for me. Gator bites a little bit a little bit tougher than I would normally go for. You know, I'd say maybe cook them a little softer, but nice, tasty, well done. So I would say overall both items are good. Not my all-time favorite. I'd try something new for sure. I feel like I've had better, you know, gator style food, but but not bad. I could see myself maybe getting probably the Gator Bites again of the two if I had to pick. Michelle, what do you think? I have to say, with everything here, my favorite thing was the chili cheese fries. Oh yeah. Those were good. Um, but yeah, it was all, you know, amusement park food. And that is a fair point. I do think the chili cheese fries are, are up there for sure. I think the upgrade was, was probably worthwhile, even though it was a good three bucks. You know, it, it adds to that flavor for sure. Yeah, you know, after a little bit more reflection, continuing to dine on some of these things, I'm not sure I would come back for the Gator Bites or the Chester Dog here. Not bad, but it's a lot for me, really uh, unique flavors, a lot a lot of, you know, a lot of hot dog going on in the hot dog. I don't know what you call it. And then in terms of the Gator, I would say it's, it's you know, again, on the chewier side, not not my go-to Gator. I've had Gator I prefer. So I think I'd stick with that, that dining venue at the front with the uh, Dorito chips with all the toppings piled up on it. You know, the, the real healthy choice here. So if I'm just saying, you know, potato, of course, it's a big piece of it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now taking a look at the park map by the dining. We are looking at going around the back route, feed some gators, see some big old gators, see some crocodiles. We are gonna do the train at one point. Should take off somewhere around here. I'm not sure it goes that way or like all the way around here, but we're gonna go around that way, see some of this stuff over here. Maybe do some jump -a and heading on out. Let's keep going. Starting off with a little bit of wildlife, you know, nothing crazy, but some emus back there. Apparently I missed them, they were a little closer. So we'll see if they come back. But you know, a couple, uh, couple nice mild animals out here. We got some corn, we're gonna toss some corn for them. See if we can get some attention. Or maybe not, maybe they're, they're too far gone. Thanks to a professional emu caller here. They're coming our way. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear those professional sounds, but it's working. This pro is hired. Oh my. Wow. Should I put my oh, hands in say. or should I throw it down? Um, I think okay. you probably just toss it. Okay, look at that. You're getting a nice close-up shot. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? I mean, I don't know. It's not as scary as like an ostrich, but it's still kind of scary. So, just toss it. See you there you go, buddy. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. Let's taste it. Oh, you gonna hand it? Thanks guys, thanks for hanging out. Have a great one. It's been an honor and privilege. Bye. Take a look at this now. We are on that breeding marsh walking trail. We got the gator areas over to our left. In front of us, we have one Michelle. And on our right, apparently there might be some deers and stuff. It looks like train tracks. So maybe that's where we'll be able to ride the train. I'm excited for that because apparently we now get the train thing going on with our annual passes. I'm not sure if that's new, but that'll be nice to use. So we, we all got them here so that we can all enjoy it together. And we're gonna ride some trains, see what we think. Take a look at uh, Nappy Time Gator. I think, uh, Michelle, did you have a nickname for Nappy Time Gator here? Amadeus. Amadeus, okay. I think I can guess his last name. I think it uh, it might start with Mo Zart than the last, uh, than the last one it is. Oh, isn't there, am I wrong? Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Oh, excuse me, because excuse me. How could I, how dare I, looks good. Nice and close, and he's massive. Crazy. And there's the train going by. I almost missed that one, taking photos. 
with the uh, gate whore. But yeah, seems like you had a pretty good, uh, pretty good trek going on. Maybe see some of those deers and such. I'm excited to ride that. We'll give it a shot. Take a look at that area where we did the gator feeding in the past. You know, you go out there and feed them fresh meat and stuff. Today we're just checking them out, but it was a cool time. You know, a little, little, little intense, but still cool. Up above, we are passing that same area over here with the uh, the gators and stuff. You've got the the screaming zip line. Screaming, screaming gear, is that what they called it? But you got two paths, two roads diverged. We're going this way right now. I think it says behind us we got Nile Crocs and Salty Crocs this way. So we're going to get salty. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get Nile salty. And I, I don't know if that works. You know, you know what I'm saying, but let's check it out. The zip liner is going right above us here. I think it was a little bit too slow on the camera start, but you can see the cable at least in the air above us. Let's see if anyone else comes overhead. Keep our eyes open for that. And ahead of us, you have the, what, instigators? What is this? Blondie. They have running shoes. No need for a dating app. <laughs> That's funny. You've got, uh, yeah, oh wow, look at that back there. Oh, gator with the mouth open. Right, right, right in, in there-ish. Hopefully you can see decently, but. Michelle, what do you think of these big old gators? They're gators? Yeah, and the zip line above you. There they go. Whoa, oh, yeah. Nile crocodiles. Oh, they're Nile crocodiles. Yeah. But it says instigator. Her blonde color is super rare, and she doesn't need a hug. She made a top 10 list, and not in a good way. That's her instigator. Sort of queen of the Nile. What do you got? Oh, crocodiles. Nile crocodile. Oh, thank you. That makes my... Oh, look at that one. Wow, that is spooky. For sure. Look at the color. You see the color design back there? Like the gr like hard green, or it's like a swamp moss green. This oh, guy's this guy. nice and dark, so. He, he would blend in in Florida, in our swamps. But that one back there, that's light. Mm -hmm. You know, like a clear, clear sandy area. Like this. Like this water. He'd blend in with that water. And this guy's too dark to blend in here. Wow. That's for real. You can see this guy right here through this fence. Look at him with the open mouth. He opened and closed it a few times. With the Nile crocodiles. Wow. Let me, yeah, I'm just trying to get you the good camera shot. Right through here. He's, uh, I don't know what he's doing, but don't want to get too close. Sounds like he's gearing up to move. Just stretching. Stretching his jaw. Closing and then just reopening. He's, uh, he's awake. That's for sure. Along the way here, along the walk, passing some birds. Look at that guy. Chilling there, some sort of bird, like big beak. Oh, it's a kookaburra. Oh, that's very cool. Kookaburras out here and plenty of other stuff. Got some big old gators in the cage on the right. Yeah, we got a lot more action as we continue the walk. We got another instigator here for lightning. Check out lightning right here in this double cage pit. Really interesting. You got two wooden kind of areas. Really interesting how they set this one up. And then those little guys back there. Oh, it looks like little crocodiles going on back there. So maybe sharper eyed ones. I'm not sure what's up with the fencing, why they built it this way for this particular section of the park, but hey, I mean, it is what it is. So it sounds like this might actually be 40 gators and a croc. I thought I saw a croc, and so that's why I said croc. But yeah, now I'm seeing a lot of those tusks, beaks, whatever you want to call them, snouts. They look more like gators. Good to know. You can see the gift shop passing that. We've got the screaming gator zip line. Look at those snowmen melting for the holiday season. And then the train up ahead here. So we'll catch that train in a bit. Sounds like maybe we'll feed some of those gators first. So perhaps make our way over to the uh, breeding marsh yet again. But train entrance over here. We got some nice snowmen, really cool. And we'll ride this thing in a bit. We got our buddy, Mr. Owl back here, great horned owl and some other cool decor, but nice to see he's chilling back there. Let's make our way into the gator breeding marsh. Yes, right up this way. I'll get a breeding marsh across the owl. Stepping inside, let's check it out. All right, Shell, let's see that toss. The gators already Hello. smell it down there. He's ready for you. Here we go. You jump? One, two, no, he's Six. not gonna jump for you. Sit. <laughs> Good boy. Oh yeah, tasty. Is that what happened? Did he get it? Yeah, he got it. Good. Oh my God. <laughs> yep, they, they saw that he was eating. Now you got some buddies coming your way. Hope you like feeding. Okay, well, I think we're gonna throw in the middle. Boom, there they go. See who can get it first. Big guy in the back, all right. It smells tasty. Oh, what do they think? Look at that bad guy back there. Maybe I'll give it to this guy right here. Ready? Three, two, let's go Jimmy. He's going for it. 
He's gonna get it. He's gonna, he's gonna let it fall into his mouth. It was not a, was not a very aggressive jump for it. All right, time to jump on the train. This is one a loco locomotive. You get that, Shell? Yes. The loco? Yes. You feel loco? No. Okay, good. Here we go. Home of Gearland Express. Let's see how this goes. Interesting. We've seen, we're seeing a video here while we're waiting for the ride, and they're talking about Bigfoot. Do you think uh, Bigfoot might be on the train track? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I guess we'll find out. But I said to ride it. Maybe there's a story behind it too. Take a look at the train coming in here. Had some issues with the GoPro starting up. But you had a wreath decoration on the front. And we're going to grab our seats here and ride along the train. Let's see what it has to offer. Maybe, maybe Bigfoot. And we are rolling on the Gatorland train. Let's see how this ride goes. So far, it's super intense. Wouldn't you say so, Michelle? I would say so. It's just a crazy ride. It's thrilling. Kind of like Tower of Terror. I'm screaming. Yeah. I'm freaking out already. Make sure you buckle my seatbelt. Good. All right. Here's where the action is at. Oh, look at those cows. Just like the ones we fed earlier. Nice humpback, yeah. Just got off that train ride. I would say it's not bad. It's cool to experience a little, little nice and slow, relaxing ride there. Not quite as much to see in terms of the different animals as I thought we might see, but still cool. I would say if you're looking for a slow, relaxing, it's nice. If you're looking for a lot of animals and sights, maybe just go to the petting zoo. Michelle, your thoughts? Absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. Don't go on it unless you're a real, real seeker. <laughs> there were drops. Yeah. There were screaming moments. Yeah. More intense, you think, than, than Hagrid's motorbike adventure. Oh, yeah. Yes. Think of Tower of Terror okay. combined with the scariest thing you've ever done. Yes, yes. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure how it will sound because we were kind of close by the engine, so maybe we'll just get like some clips, some time lapse, some silent. We'll put see. Some, put some music over it. Some that. music over it might happen. You don't we'll want to make them deaf. They already know what happened, so, well, you know, but I, I probably will. Uh, yeah. And now we are going to do a little bit more feeding. Yeah, this is the water park. We can walk through here, see the panthers if you want, see some of the special holiday stuff, and feed a few more gators. And this is what we were just looking at, that water park over there. And look at this Krampus Kronk. Naughty kids only. Look at that. Wow. It's like Winterfell. Feel like we're back in game of thrones winter is coming another great catch by michelle right here look at this we have our gator deer uh all all deer what would you talk, call it rain rain terse what do you think's right here show i couldn't tell you right this is the alligator reindeers that's what it is and you even got an albino one up there santa on the top riding them see that right up there rain gators rain gators maybe that's right i like it it's a nice picture Michelle, your first time at Gatorland. Final thoughts as we're walking towards Junior's Jumperoo. Final thoughts, Junior's Jumperoo. Um, final thoughts, I thought it was great. I thought they were adorable. I really like the alligators and I like the crocodiles. Uh, I thought they were all super cute. I love feeding them. I love feeding the birds. I love feeding the, um, the goats. That was so cute. Overall, it was such a fun experience. I really liked it. Um, food leaves something to be desired, so bring your own granola bars. But otherwise, next, I thought it was fun. Next time, that's the booth to try for food right there. Oh. With the uh, nacho, nachos in a Dorito bag. Oh yeah, the healthy choice. That's a real healthy choice, I'm telling you. Bring but. granola bars <laughs> and fresh fruit. I'll give it to you. I, I think I'm with you on the food front. Wasn't wasn't the best sort of gator wild food I've had, um, but it was a great time. It worked. Lots of fun activities. I'd say my favorite was the birds. Your favorite was the uh, the goats. I really just like animals gators. in general. Yeah, the petting and the feeding is really nice. Look at that. They're so cute. And those gators are cute. Look at that. Little baby gators jumping in. Always nice relaxing sight to see. Thanks so much for helping make today an amazing day. Don't forget to make your day an incredible day as well. Make sure you focus on the positive vibes. Look for the silver lining in everything you do. And until next time. Play on. Play on. Yes, that. Exactly. Didn't, about the size. didn't buy it? Yeah. For a second, I was like scared. <laughs>